So hello, Aquarius. It's in the middle of February 2022, so it's Aquarian time, yeah. Whether you have Aquarius as your sun sign, as your ascendant, or you have more than a few planets in Aquarius, you will recognize something. But for me, the sun is the most important. It is the king of your chart. Nevertheless, you don't know all the blocks, all the parts of the chest play of, of, of your personality that are helping you, or it's always helping you, but sometimes these this, this helping comes as blockages, as difficulties to overcome or just to experience and live through. Um, and is the, is, is the overcoming not even visible in the outside, but more an internal process. And the sun sign, the planet, the sun, the planets all have a vibration and the sun as well. The sun is the king. It is your soul. It's also said to be your ego. But for me, it's more like the ego in service of the soul. Because the sun vibrates at a frequency of 10,000. It is way beyond what is, as a human being, to grasp that we are vibrating not even at a thousand, some are vibrating at 500, and most of us are down there. So, if you want to, as an Aquarian, follow your son, but you have the feeling. I don't recognize nothing. Uh, I come across completely different than my sun sign. Still then, it can be something deep within you that you can explore to maybe lost touch with something within yourself because it is there. It is your soul guiding you. It is the, the, the light in your life. And Aquarius, um, you're very uh, into thinking about um, way out there ideas that maybe are way beyond the, the, the time that we are in. You're way beyond um, that we are ready for. You're thinking about all these things and making connections between um, subjects a lot of people don't even see a connection yet. So the you're an air sign, you're fixed. So you're like you're like visual. You're like you're not really the Aquarius energy is not really into the organizing and creating. Uh, it's it's not about you as an Aquarius sun. It's just the energy of Aquarian Aquarius. Uh, constellation it it is more about life is already set and we were improving it it's like we're making new connections we were improving it for the good of all we are um making um um it better with what there already is it's not about uh, transformation or destroying it is improving what is already there for all of us not just for one it has to bring a, a, a togetherness a brotherhood a sisterhood um, it is without any center it is like if you zoom out you see life on earth it wants to evolve without, without that one thing is, it gets evolves and the rest is not evolving. I didn't say that very good, but well, this is my Mercury being not in a good place in my chart. I have to uh, 
kick my Mercury's ass a little bit <sighs> to be able to come across and use the vehicle of speaking. <laughs> I'm doing it. So, you are ruled by Saturn and also Uranus, um, which it brings a little bit of a, a, a feeling of contradiction, but they work together. So Saturn will make you uh, work, will give you strength to continue working and it takes time, nothing comes quickly, but it is not to produce something from up here to down there, it's to produce something that spreads open and wide and overcoming the limitations of, of everything, of yourself, of your ideas, of your uh, psychological issues. Um, and it takes time because it's not like, yep, I've done the work, it's done in five minutes, it's possible. But first, it takes time with the ruler Saturn there. But um, it also teaches us that with time and not giving up and following a, a kind of structure, you get to the point that you succeed. And when you've done the work, The, the, the energy of Aquarius can give you sudden rise. It's like, wow, you know, I've done so much work and, and I, I, it, it took me like minute by minute. I, and I, it, I felt like I was not improving. It's what took me like uh, millimeters of improvement and years. But all at once the door open and there is this out of seemingly nowhere, maybe for people around you, you got wings and you fly. And this is the Uranus part that you can make huge steps and you didn't see it coming, but you did the work. So you know what you did for it. It's not like it's a present for you. It takes, it takes effort. And you're an air sign. You're, you're thinking about improving, um, structures because you still you 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 want freedom and equality the energy of aquarius wants this for all but it's not freedom like chaotic freedom like the structure remains because that's typical aquarian it is a structure without a center it is um it stands for, if it's physical, your blood flow, your, your nervous system, your skin. And um, in the world, it can be, you know, um, transport, uh, economical systems that, that don't have a center, the internet, and all that kind of um, examples. And this this huge loops you can occur in your life through the work of saturn not to only grow for yourself to a top if you grow to a top you want to elevate everybody with you and you have these unique views on things and you the uniqueness of your thoughts and that make you different and people will not understand you some of them and other ones will adore you what you're doing other will say he's crazy she's crazy she's crazy though she's crazy yeah she's crazy your mind with the aquarian energy doesn't sleep and it vibrates the constellation of aquarius vibrates at 400 on the scale of thousands and 400 is the the scale of reason and reason can be used like everything for the higher good or for control 
and control in the most negative aspect for from it we don't have to go there do we we know at all what that is so with saturn there and the mind and reason and control if you go in into the into the lower vibrations of it it can go in a way that doesn't suit aquarius this is not what a what the, the Aquarius energy stands for. It, it wants to see what's outside of the wall. So if you have uh, the typical um, control and regulations and limitations, it is like, here's the wall, here's the limit, here's the boundary, here we stop. We don't need to know what's outside of the wall. This is safe. And this is the, the Saturn that wants to evolve, but slowly. And maybe, you know, maybe we will open the, the, the door we, one day if, you know, we first have to stay in these walls for a long time and progress here. The other part of Aquarius, they, they go outside of the wall. They say, yeah, inside of the wall, we know what's there. What, what's the point of? repeating, 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 and doing so slowly, they go outside of the wall, but also with a structure, and they don't forget what's inside of the wall, they take it with them. The Saturn energy, the of energy of the planet, the vibration, it's 250 on a scale of 1000, is the vibration of neutrality, which is very nice. And if I think about it, how it correlates with Saturn is, Neutrality is the live and let live. And which gives me a, a, you know, a good feeling like, yeah, you know, why hurt other people, living things? And the Saturn wants to evolve slowly, live and let live, doesn't want to change overnight and doesn't like to sudden things and he likes to follow the rules and and breaking of the rules um with the live and let live and let die doesn't i have the feeling you will break more rules with live and let die than live and let live Correct me if, if you think something else. I am not sure about nothing. This is uh, my Gemini Mercury thing again. Not sure about nothing. Well, I'm sure about some things, but that's an inner feeling. It's nothing from my mind. So, Uranus vibrates at 310 on a scale of 1,000. Is the vibration of willingness. So, you have 400. The vibration of the constellation of Aquarius. You have the planet Saturn at 250, neutrality. If you stay too long in neutrality, at, in the live and let live, which is nice, but if you stay too long there, you can get like um, stuck or lazy, maybe it's not the word, but it's, it's like, yeah, easy. You know, this is easy and you know, I live and let live. I don't have to change nothing either. You know, I'm not gonna, it's better than go and make a mock and live and live and let die and but i'm also not going to maybe go, do the extra mile because i'm fine where i am and um this can make us compliant and not willing to change where we are because we're too we're comfortable or they too comfortable you don't want to give up what you have um because you know then you will have to get out of your comfort zone too much and you you don't find yet what uranus has the 310 the willingness to to really be part of life of of, of creation to really have uh, hopes and beliefs that uh, we do matter and that we can evolve in a positive way and really want to participate and you get the feeling of yes, yes. And not the feeling of, uh, you know, 
why bother? I'm not going to change nothing. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to change nothing. I still have my comfortable life. And I am I am not convinced we can save humanity and for sure not the planet. So, you know, I just want to go on holidays and, you know, I'm not hurt nobody, not me, not myself. And, and I don't believe it. This is, you can, if you're too much in the living, let live. And you're a good person still, no? And nobody is going that way. It's just, if you're getting too long in the live and let live, you can go that way. Doesn't mean it's bad, it's just a fact. The Uranus energy is the energy of action. Because if you're willing to co-create, um, most of the time the willingness leads to action. It, it is because you will look for ways um, to evolve. And you have the courage because courage is at, um, at 200. And have, having already integrated courage, you feel more that like the happiness or the happiness, the, the flow of like, I'm going to do it because, you know, I'm so willing. Instead of if you feel the courage, you're like, I'm a little bit scared because if courage doesn't mean you're not scared. You just maybe are scared, but you're doing it anyway. You know, it is courage and it takes maybe a, a whole different kind of energy in your life than with willingness. But the Aquarius energy has um, both, which maybe if you're, you will be in a longer time in, in, in the place of the live and let live and with your ideas and creating, and having the internal conversation that you want uh, uh, connectedness with everybody and you, you like stability because you're a fixed sign. And then the change that Uranus can bring can be scary, but when once you feel you've done the work, your own limitations, you've overcome them, you've integrated them, the shooting star comes not anymore from, from any anything less than, you know, more, more than courage, then you're, you're so willing to fly. All right. Yesterday, it was full moon, moon for you in Leo. And it was in, uh, in your seventh, when, when your ascendant is Aquarius, the full moon was in Leo in your seventh sign, seventh house, sorry, seventh house in Leo. And what is so beautiful about that is um, the Aquarius energy with all in the head, all in the mind, which is beautiful if it's used for the higher mind and, and, and for all, for the betterment for all, for um, brotherhood. But if it gets too much mind and you lose touch with the heart, the full moon in Leo can bring so much heart. It can be through another person. Um, it can be, uh, it can be uh, uh, an intimate uh, relationship or someone at work. Um, someone with, with an equal relationship not like a boss or something it's more like an equal relationship but uh, you can attract somebody with a lot of heart in, in because of leo is ruled by the sun in if, if if it is more in the in the lower um manifestation it can be maybe a little bit too much pride but this person of this energy of the full moon uh, balances you out so beautifully because the, with, with the heart coming in and you with all the, the beautiful stuff and ideas and visions in your head, together with the heart, <sighs> gives a nice balance, doesn't it? So I hope that whatever in this full moon or on, on any other moment in your life, it doesn't have to happen now. Um, whatever you need to overcome, or it comes as a present, it comes as an, as it's always a present, we're in the present. 
if it is a challenge or just an easy breezy flow coming to you um you probably worked hard at it yourself by attracting it because of the ruling planet of saturn who does who does that does make you work hard let me see if i said everything that i wanted to say i think yes if if you are uh, aquarius uh, ascendant um for sure look up where your sun is um in the end is one big puzzle that gives you so much information about yourself but it can also um um be very confusing with too much information and too much um because most people that go to astrologers have crazy charts <laughs> yeah um and there's a lot of difficulties or uh, confusion uh, in in their life or you uh, know you know the angles give them a lot of um um doubt also about who they are and then um if this is a theme that comes into your life more and more you know who am i you know who you are but if you want to understand more from the head and because from the heart it's a feeling that you know nobody can really teach you by astrology maybe it can i don't know astrology is also it vibrates at 400 so it, maybe a lot of aquarian people do have you know an, an interest in astrology it's a it's a science and it is you can think about you can think about it forever it's uh, very interesting but it's not everything because the heart matters more Ta -da! with this Ooh, we mean with my aquarius in my ninth house of beliefs and study I love I love Aquarian people, uh, Aquarius constellation people. So they are so a little bit different than goofy and uh, aloof. And I'm always interested in in different. <laughs> I can learn so much from different. Everything that's the same. Can I still learn from that? No, it's so sh most of the time kind of feels like shallow. But maybe that's just a judgment for me. Bye bye, bye bye, Aquarius. Four hundred. It doesn't mean you vibrate at four hundred. It means the constellation of Aquarius vibrates at four hundred. Four hundred is quite nice to vibrate at, and um, you as a person, I have no idea what your vibration is. This comes with so many other aspects that I don't know how they measure it. I know a little bit, but I don't know the details. Um, but everything is energy and we can measure anything and everything these days. That's so cool. That's so Aquarian, no? So <laughs> to be interested in that. All right, so. Bye-bye, swai bye. -bye. Swise, bye. Okay, try again. Bye-bye.